Danny Rose will not play for Watford again. Watford are reportedly ready to ditch Danny Rose during the January transfer window despite the left back having only joined the club in the summer. The 31-year-old arrived at the newly promoted Premier League outfit back in June following the expiry of his contract at Tottenham Hotspur, where he had not played for 18 months. He got back into contention straight away in August, making his debut in the Carabao Cup, before going on to make eight Premier League appearances, but has now already fallen out of favour. According to Sky Sports News, Rose will now not play for Watford again, and he will leave the club this month. Despite an early run in the first team at Vicarage Road, Rose has lost his place in the side since the arrival of Claudio Ranieri as manager in October. He has played just four times under the Italian manager in defeats by Liverpool, Arsenal, Chelsea, and Manchester City, the latter of which was his last of his nine total appearances this season. Although he was on the bench against Brentford a month ago, he has not been involved in any of Watford's five previous matchday squads. Ranieri hinted back in December that he was unhappy with the levels of fitness the former England international was showing despite having shown improvement. I remember Danny when he played at Tottenham and the England national team and I need this Danny, Ranieri said. I think it is more fitness than a confidence issue. When he came he was down on fitness and now he has improved a lot but he needs to improve more. It is difficult, though to say how long that will take. Rose has 29 senior England appearances but has now suffered a remarkable fall from grace and looks unlikely to secure another move in the Premier League. He played 214 times for Tottenham in 14 years at the club, but a failed loan spell at Newcastle marked the beginning of a worrying decline for the defender. He struggled for game time on Tyneside and is now suffering a similar fate at Vicarage Road, where his time